Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of Subnautica. So in today's episode, we have to do a little bit of DIY work around our base. We gotta focus on upgrading this thing, building a bunch of stations, lockers and everything, because we're kind of getting disorganized. Everything is just a big mess on the interior. And first of all, look at that, we got another message. Where's it going to be? Oh man, wait, nine new biological subjects designated. Mode something, hunting slash analyzing, sharing object locations. God damn it, I can never, <laughs> I can never read them in time! Uh, sharing subject location with other agents. What is that meant to mean? Nine new biological subject designated. Mode hunting slash analyzing, sharing subject locations with other agents. Wait, is there agents working on this planet? I also have been trying to get rid of the lag a little bit, so I've been like going into the console and stuff like that to hopefully fix it a little bit, but it hasn't really worked very well. Because we're still sitting at about, like right now it's 70 FPS, but I can guarantee you it's gonna drop next to nothing at any moment right now. So, first things first, we gotta go into the moon pool. And we gotta build the upgrade station for our CMOS so we can properly upgrade that in future episodes. Like I did kind of mention in the past. So I did go ahead and gather as many resources as I possibly could. So it's gonna be much easier so we're just gonna spend time trying to upgrade this thing. And what would be the best kind of location for this? You know what? Should we just like put it up against the wall right about... You know what? Here's gonna be nice. Yeah, let's just plonk it right here. So we should be able to dark our Seamoth here, and look at that. Isn't that just perfect? Oh, yes. Wait, what's this? Oh, so we can dock the prawn suit in here as well, so we can upgrade. Oh, shit! Pressure compensator is incredibly cheap! Wow. Solar charger, that's pretty nice. We can't really build anything. Actually, I do have advanced wiring kits that I built, so we might be able to do that as well, to get like the, uh, what was it called? The prawn suit drill arm? Oh wait, do we have diamonds? Yeah we do, I got some plastic ingots. Oh my god! We might be able to fully upgrade these things, and you know what, we gotta build the pressure compensator in order for us to get the other ones. So I'm just gonna quickly do that, and before we do anything else, let's build some lockers, but we gotta decide exactly where we wanna put them. I was kind of thinking, about putting all the lockers and like making a locker room down below because I don't really use that room for anything So it would kind of make sense to build that underneath the bar reactor. So you know what? Let's quickly do that. I should have enough for at least one locker, which is nice I'm still trying to figure out what's causing all of this lag. It must be something on the inside here But I just don't know what it is. So we need one glass and two titanium build one of these little lockers So I'm gonna try and place two of them here. So one there So I'm just gonna place one right there and could I potentially have enough for another one? Damn it! I ran out of glass already. That is not good and also we need to find that big aquarium I wanna, I wanna get this alien containment because one, it looks pretty cool, and two, we can actually do something with that. Computer chip, wiring kit, glass, and titanium to build the power cell charger, which we have to build eventually, especially if we're gonna be using the Cyclops a lot, since that uses power cells. So what did we need for that? We need a glass that we're only missing, right? Because I've got the, um, I've got the wiring kits and everything. Hold on, just a second. Wiring kit, computer chip. I did build computer chips. I just don't know where I put them. I'm pretty sure I had them somewhere. If not, we're gonna quickly go and get those bad boys. I think I got rid of all of my computer chips when I built the upgrade station for the Seamoth. And look at that, the pressure compensator. See? We need- all we need are computer chips. Holy shit. Let's go. Let's do this. I'm gonna quickly collect all of these resources, so hopefully by the time I get back, we should have everything we need to do a bunch of stuff on the inside of this base. So let's go and do this. All right, so after a longest time, I managed to craft all of these resources and holy shit, boys. I think we're golden. Look at that, we got so much gold. That means we're swimming in it. We got copper, we got lead, we got plenty of computer chips. I mean, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Plastic ingots and everything. That's just fantastic. So you know what? We're just gonna get straight in and start upgrading this thing. And also, I need my aluminium oxide. I have no idea where I put my aluminium oxide. Hold on a second. That's I think downstairs because I put some of that away. I basically ended up dumping all of the junk into these containers. There you go. Aluminium oxide. So we might just as well do this real fast so we can fully upgrade our sea moth. So pressure compensator. Where did I dump this? I had it here somewhere. We're gonna quickly change that 
that for the pressure compensator, just like that. And look at that. We can finally make this one, which is just fantastic. And we should have enough. Oh, shit. We need more plasteel ingots. Do I have one more? Holy crap. We're burning through plasteel like there's no tomorrow. We got the pressure compensator Mark III. So what's the uh, what's the depth of the Mark III? I have no idea. You know what? Let's test that thing. Let me first of all dock our Seamoth, which is right here, into our moon pool so we can properly upgrade it and we can customize it finally. Holy shit, I forgot you can customize the Seamoths in the moon pools because you can like change their colors, their names, everything. Everything and nothing you can do to this thing. Wait a minute, the upgrade station is on the other side. Whoops. <laughs> Awkward. Okay, access the upgrades. I mean, we already have one pressure compensator, so we have an- <gasps> Are you serious? 900? Wait a minute. If I add this, does this help? No, this doesn't help at all. Do we even need this? I don't think we do. You know what? I'm kind of ashamed that I built one of these pressure compensator, because we definitely didn't need another one. And I just realized that we are struggling for power a little bit. Seamoth Solar Charger. That might be pretty good, but should I make it? I mean, I've got enough. You know what? I think we need hull reinforcements. Do I have titanium on me? Please tell me I've got some titanium in this base. I mean, I did build a lot of stuff, so I'm hoping there should be still some left over in one of these, uh, one of these containers. There you go. Plenty. Okay, so we can upgrade the storage or we can just... Ooh, efficiency module as well. You know what? Yeah, let's do all of these and maybe then we're gonna be able to discover the ingredients for the rest. I don't know how that works exactly, but look at that. We're now able to add this thing right here. So now we have a much better hull integrity, but I'm just wondering where the hell is the, uh, is the storage? On this thing. This thing is fully charged at the moment. Health is now doing the best. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Hold on a second. Don't we have to, uh. Yeah, you know what? We might just well do it. God damn it! <sighs> I don't have titanium on me. We gotta get more. Yeah, I wish there was the ability for you to be able to potentially, you know, uh. get, get more slots on the Cyclops for like docking things. That'd be pretty cool. Or if they're gonna bring out like a brand new submarine. Okay, so the storage is on the back. That's actually not bad storage. I'm not gonna lie. That's gonna help us quite nicely. So what else could we potentially do that's gonna be worthwhile? First of all, we don't really care about this. Oh shit. That's like some stuff that I haven't seen before. Wow, okay. Uh, I don't know, magnetite? We could build the torpedo system. How much are the torpedoes? That's actually not bad. But are we really gonna be fighting things? Yeah, you know what? Let's do a solar charger so we don't have to worry about the power on this thing. Oh shit! Talking about chargers, I still need to make the uh, the power charger type thing. Is what are they called again? The power cell charger. And look at that. That is so convenient. <laughs> I actually have all the ingredients here with me. Oh, that's so good. You know what? We're just gonna dump it right here since it's close to our SEMO. So we might just as well like take out stuff from it to charge it properly. Oh, yes. This is gonna be good. Right! I feel like this thing has been, like, properly upgraded now, but now we gotta name it. So we got Exploration Vessel Jimmy, which is the Cyclops. So we gotta think of a very clever name for this. Gizmo Tismo. Sounds about right. Oh my god. People are gonna, like, bitch about this so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I don't even care. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay, the name is gonna be black. The interior, I, I want it to be like yellow. Oh, actually, should we keep it yellow or should we um, give it like a, a nice, potentially red color? I don't know, dude. Those are the questions I keep asking myself every night. Oh, man, it looks kind of, uh, no, I, I, just, I just don't know. Should we get like nice brown leather? Like, oh man, it's got it's gonna be like the interior of a brand new Mercedes. Holy shit, it's gonna be a luxury vessel in no time. We're gonna give it a bright yellow for the Vatic colors. I kind of hate that yellow because it's almost turning into like gold. And I don't really like gold. See, that is much nicer than the other yellow. Yeah, because that, that almost looks greenish. Green slash gold, which I don't know how to feel about. You know what? We're gonna leave it like this. How's it looking? <laughs> Gizmo Tismo reporting for duty, boys. 
Oh, man. I love this thing. Oh, shit. Health and energy. It's all looking pretty good. The depth is 900 meters. Oh, I'm proud of this ship. Don't know if I'm gonna get away with calling this gizmo autismo. Some people are bound to be offended, but you know what? It's okay. It's only the internet. If you get offended by something like this, then hey ho, I suppose you're not very fun. All systems online. Nice. Holy shit. I love that. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, that's that's the water. I was thinking, what the hell is, is doing that? Let me now get our prawn suit to see if we can upgrade it in any way. I think I should be able to mount some good arms on it. So then we can gather resources using the prawn welcome suit aboard, instead. Captain. Okay, welcome aboard. Thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate it. Can I dock this thing? Let's have a look. Oh, a little bit closer. Oh, shit, yes! Oh, I had no idea this thing docked. That actually looks so cool. I love this. I love how it goes a little bit lower. I wish it kind of maybe went a little bit higher so you can see more of it. That would be pretty cool, but I feel like I'm being picky right now. <gasps> you can customize the prawn suit! Pog champ! Uh, uh, oh, oh, shit. I don't know what to pick for this one. Optimus premise? Why not? You know what? <laughs> oh, we're sticking with Optimus Primus. Why the hell not? Right, let's make this thing gold once again. Golden yellow. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's the inside. Oh, we gotta go for like a deep red as well. Oh, that would be nice. Because that, I think that complemented the, um, the Seamoth. Right. So what do we have? We need advanced wiring kit and we need diamond and plastic ingot. We've got both of those things because I know I crafted both of them. So I'm going to quickly go and grab them, and then we should be good to go. We need the advanced one, which I, I love the icon. It's just bigger. <laughs> bigger is always better. Am I right, boys or ladies? Should I be? I don't know which one should I be addressing, but we're just going to forget that I tried to make that joke because I'm sure there's kids watching. <laughs> okay, prone suit grappling arm. Then make that, and then we can make the, uh, the prone suit drill arm. What's the other one? The boost. What do we actually need for that? We need kyanite. I had no idea what that is. Sulfur and a plastic ingot. Kyanite, we haven't come across that just yet. Wait, so is that across the board then? So I can make it for anything? Interesting. Because I think I might actually be able to reinforce the hull of this thing. Where do we put in the upgrades? Okay, the upgrades are on this side, which is just fantastic. So I'm going to put that in. Wait, oh. The arms go on, on these sides. I, I see what you mean now. Pressure compensator. <gasps> oh, shit! Oh, that changes everything! Oh, we can make that like a proper deep exploration. Hold on a second. Do I have the compensator on me? Yes, I do. What do we need to make it, the make it go deeper? We can make it go to like insane depths. And then we can like explore the Mariana Trench. Holy shit, this is gonna be so good. All right, boys. All right, so I managed to get everything and fully upgrade this thing again. So let me just dump it in here. Look at that. Oh, Mark III. Holy shit! 1,700 meters! That's insane! Wow! Our Seamoth doesn't even compare, does it? What else? Okay, we got common modules once again. So we're gonna get hull reinforcements. Why the hell not? Because I feel like if we get attacked by something at those steps, we could be potentially screwed. And I think that's the last remaining slot. Actually, no, there's two more slots. I should do it, right? Oh, man. So look at that. All we gotta do now is drop the efficiency module in here and we are good to go. You know what? I'm curious about this thing now. Let's jump inside and let's see how this thing is gonna feel. Okay. So we still got this. Right. So this is gonna be the drill. So we can drill resources. Can we drill like through walls? No, it doesn't look like it. So this is the grapple arm. I'm curious about this thing. This is like the grappling hook from Just Cause. Holy shit! This thing is actually pretty sweet! Oh wow! I love it! So wait, can I like slingshot myself over to the Cyclops? Yes I can. Oh my god. I hit it. <laughs> oh man! Oh, I love this thing! We can just like smash it into things. This is fantastic! 
But anyway, guys, that is gonna do it for another episode of Subnautica. I hope you guys enjoyed this one as we did a bunch of kind of like DIY work. We upgraded a bunch of stuff, like I kind of said in the last episode or at the beginning of the last episode. But anyway, if you enjoyed and would like to see more, then make sure you leave a like on this video. I know you guys are very excited for Subnautica, so I'm glad to see that because the game is a ton of fun for me to play and record. So as always, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and now see you guys next time. Take care and goodbye. Bye-bye, bye-bye.